Hey everyone, it's Clint Tucker, guitar trainer and coach. It is Fretwork Friday 2021, Volume 8. And we're talking about extreme examples of double stops um, with sixth intervals and also being able to take that and use something like One and Dead or Alive to catapult new ideas, right? So I want to show you how to do One and Dead or Alive's intro so you can get you started on this. What you're going to do is you're going to play the fourth string open and then you're going to play the A note on the G string 14th fret and the F note on the first string 13th fret. So it's D open, G 14, E 13. And we're going to go so four, three, one, three. And I'm gonna play my ring finger for the first string, my middle finger for the second string, and my um, first finger for the third string, and my thumb for the fourth. No way everybody has their own lane. we can play. Alright, so we're going to use 14 and 13, and we're going to keep that pattern. Now we're going to keep our middle finger on the third string. That's going to be our guide finger. You kind of hear that sound right there. Notice I'm not taking my hand off at all. So that helps me be able to move quickly in between major and minor. So this is coming off of a F major. That's going to be off of a C or an E minor. That's going to come off of a D minor. So that was 12 and 12. And this is 10 and 10. So use the ring finger on the E string. Also, when you're playing this, keep that elbow kind of in to play the ones that are staggered and the ones that are vertical. Bring the elbow slightly out and that helps your, your hand do that. Now we're moving to staggered, nine and eight. We're not even messing with the second string at all. It's D, G, and B strings. So four, three, and one. Now we're gonna skip over here and go straight to the fifth fret. That's gonna be an F. Some would also argue that it's A minor. But you kind of hear it now. And then we have there's our there fourth fret and third fret. Then we're going to slide and then pluck four, three, and one. So that gets us started. Now we don't have to do that pattern all the time. That gave us an idea. What if I wanted to play just this one, then move up to the 12 and 12? So it's 10 and 10, then 12 and 12. Then go to 14, 13. See, that sounds really cool. And maybe One and Dead or Alive gave us the start of it, but now we can, you know, do our own variations of the order. And we can come up with new ideas. Now, I want to show you something that's a little bit more uh, advanced 
but it should give you an idea. Here is something that you can use to get even more mileage out of this. Okay, so say we're going to start right here at 12 and 12, and we're going to go to 14 and 13. One of the cool things you can do is slide from the 12 to 14. Now that gives us a new way to make that stuff work. I basically took the exact same shapes that we used for one in Dead or Alive. And what I did is I took an approach to the one that happened uh, this descending down below that shape. So if this is on A and F, this one's on G and E. And I'm going to slide. Kind of hear this now. Let's go one more. So how am I doing that? I'm going to slide up on the G string and then I'm going to slide back on the E string. This takes a little bit of time to get used to the, like for your ear, but basically I'm doing this, but I'm doing this one first, then I'm going to 13 and sliding back to 12. Now, there, now we're starting to get kind of out of the idea of one a dead or love. And we're basically using the idea to get us started on something completely different. Okay, so you take the first thing. Use that as your bass line. Right? Then the first variation is we slide from behind, you know, ascending slide into our shape. Then our other approach would be ascending slide, descending slide. to give us some ideas. Okay, I hope that helped everyone to give them some things to think about. You can use one a dead or alive. You can use uh, you know, a bunch of different variations of other things like something that has that real country, Martin Offler, Sultans of Swing type of sound. And then we can you know, do variations by sliding into sliding out of and sliding doing the compound slide slide up slide down and um, we can mess around with different variations but wherever a sixth interval is you will hear how you can use that so Take anything that you've worked on that has that country sound and try to do a little bit of this. Slide into it, then slide in and out. And uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook. Go to cwtucker.com to uh, get a session with me. I do them in person and virtual. Just go to cwtucker.com, click the booking tab, send me a message on Facebook, or send me a message on YouTube. Like and subscribe, share with anyone that would like to get better at their playing, and I hope you all have a blessed weekend.